Oh, tits, it's been two weeks. It's been too bloody long. That's what it's been. Oh, my God. Too long. A bit like my ex. I was always in pain. Yeah, look at, I mean, look at you. Oh. Fresh from a holiday in, where Where were you? Bloody middle, you know, other end of the world. Well, yeah, I mean, put it in a box in Phuket, darling. You said it best. I've been in Thailand. Put <laughs> it in a box in Phuket. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, do I look tanned? You look black as the ace of spades. That's I, I didn't want to say it, but it's it's close to being cultural appropriation to be completely honest. Well, to be honest, when I when I went to get on the plane, they didn't believe it was me in the picture. Yeah. They said, how have you in gone? The passport photo. They said, you've gone from... The... <laughs> well, your passport picture is a 12-year-old girl. Yeah, that's so... true. Yeah, it, it, it is the girl from the Wendy's sign, actually. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, they said, how have you gone from the Milky Bar kids to a bloody Mars bar? And I said, well, that's just it, darling. I'm good at tanning. Talent. That's what it's called. Talent. Love right, that. should we get on with Let's it? Let's get on with the show. All right, then. <laughs> well, we're back after two weeks. Welcome back to Up the After with me, Miss Georgie Porgy. And myself, Miss Titty Kaka. Hello. Oh. Lovely, to see, lovely to, to see you. Lovely to see you nice. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? It's been a while. I mean, to be honest, I'm happy for the break. Yeah. You know, it's, some people say you've got to have that time apart to then want to come back together. And I still don't want to come back together, but it's been nice to have the break, to be honest. You know, it's got to be done. I mean, lots to catch up Well, on. you know, it's funny. A few people yeah. messaged through um, and said things like, oh, it's been so weird not waiting for, for Friday to listen. So nice. Yeah, not having a, a, a pod day. I actually have a quote from my good friend Barb, and she said, stop being lazy and get on FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Well, here you are, Bob. One fresh out the fresh out the birthing canal just for you. We just popped it right out. Yeah, Ooh. just for you, darling. That's but it, yeah, no, Bob. it's been fab. Obviously, I just got back from Thailand for two well, weeks. Well, we can see. I mean, I was going to say, what the hell are you wearing? But we can see you've been in Thailand because you've got. I mean, you got two feathered earrings in. Yeah, you've just got a, a smuttering. It's kind of like a kaftani kimono situation going on. Very earthy colours. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. a, a teased blonde and ginger wig. Of course. Uh, very Georgie Porgie. Yeah. And bare feet. Well, the We've thing... We've been in Thailand. The thing is, Tits, that you, it's, on, it's, it's, it's funny that you mention that my kaftan looks a bit earthy. Oh, here it's we go. actually pink and blue, but I just I just fell down a hill. Yeah, it was just so, covered in mud. Yeah, it's just covered in mud. Been on your hands and knees all this time. I, I was. I went out there to earn a bit of money, a couple of massages, well, sure bit, not, a couple of happy you're sure endings. You're not bloody earning it in England, are you? Christ. No. Christ. Um, but I have got I have got me bare feet, yeah. I just feel I'm really with nature now. I feel I'm very spiritual. Fresh pedicure. Fresh though. pedicure. Well, it was only a pound in Thailand to get fresh pedicure, a nose job, and my uh, receding hairline sorted, so I thought I'd just get it all done for a pound. And I must say, you do look great. Stop yeah. it. I mean, myself, I've gone for a bit of an un- understated... I mean, you can probably see, but I've got a big blonde bouffant on a gorgeous glamorous yeah. uh, silver sequin gown I mean it's floor length the glamour is outrageous truly it's interesting that you just called that a large bouffant yeah go on just, well it's just interesting to me because you know what she's actually got on is um, do you remember from Claire's you used to get those kind of hair bands that had some hair around it uh-huh. well you've just kind of Built in, you've just yeah. kind of got that on so I don't I'm not really sure where the word big comes in well anyway either way it's the word you probably used to describe it would be glamorous yeah I'd say glamour puss uh, again yeah heavily heavily beaded sequin um, dress. Not from Sheen. And not from Sheen. Now, and there we go, and a, a sensible Laduka boot on the shoe. Um, what On the foot there. What do you call your, um when you make stuff? It's Car Car Creations, isn't it? Well, it, I mean, it used to be, but I don't, we don't really, I mean, that's closed now. The kid, they can't get the kids in the factories anymore. It's difficult, yeah. Um, but, yeah, used to be car car creations but you know I just do it all myself now because I don't really do much for other people anymore I mean I've had people battering down the door you know when you're back will you make me this will you do me that I said listen lady busy businesswoman I've not got time yeah. not got time for yeah. it yeah I think so it's, it's, it's that's yeah. the thing is I think as well it probably making stuff for yourself you can give yourself the the drive to do it because you know you've well, got something it. nice but that's it. When, whenever I do something for someone else I think I'm not even going to get to use it well there you go words to live by 
ever the selfless uh, performer, Miss Georgie Porgy. There. Yeah. Well, I know lots of people, lots of people make costumes or wigs yeah. for other people and they'll wear them once and then just Well, it kills me. To the person. They always put it on the like brand new wig never been worn and then you scroll back on their Instagram and it's just them in it. <laughs> A hundred percent. I love it. Oh, a bit of initiative. Drama. I love it. I'm here for it. Oh, fabulous. Well, that's what we're wearing as always. There'll never be a picture. No. So imagine it best you can. Fab. I've got stuff to talk about, but I, d- I think I was quite heavy in that section. So you go for oh, it. You're, I mean, you're heavy in every section, to be completely honest. But all right, I'll start. Grow up. Well, uh, Miss Georgie Porgy, I mean, the time is coming to an end for yeah. me. I've got nine days left on board. So how many shows is that? Oh, God. Follow the one, carry the two. 74. Can you believe it? Yeah, I saw so- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, nine days left on board, and it's a bit of a bittersweet one to be honest, because my body's ready for a break. But I do, you yeah. know, I just love love my time on board, and I want to be here. But not to worry, it'll be a few weeks, and then we'll be flying back off to the next ship. But I mean, I'm just saying because I've started packing, or at least attempting to pack. Um, and you know, I don't know about you, but, well, probably not so much with you. But the issue I have with packing yeah. is that my costumes are all so heavily beaded and embroidered. You nasty bitch! I knew you were going to say something <laughs> like that. <laughs> it, for you, it's a lot of power mesh and cheap net, so it doesn't really weigh much. But for me, <laughs> it's not. It's <laughs> not so much the space; it's the weight. And I'm I'm surprised you're not the one oh. with the weight issues with the luggage, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah. Are we doing Drag Me to the Dead? Not yet. For me, it's the weight of, you know, the expensive beads and these, mm. one, you know, small 12-inch waist costumes uh. that weigh an absolute ton. But I think so the good, I'm really the good thing is, to shuffle things around. I think the good thing is for you, Tits, is you do make up the um you do make up the space because obviously you've got heavy costumes but then your wigs you can literally shove them all in one morrison's bag <laughs> and just shove them in. and also Hold them in you've only got one bloody pair of heels and it's a laduca so i wouldn't worry about <laughs> it love you, you'll you'll soon fit it in the suit equals out really doesn't yeah it? yeah ah. oh it all equal out well that's it i mean i'm busy you know i actually went we were off in miami today and i managed to get a uh, a brand new hand luggage case oh because don't you just hate it i went to the last one i had i mean granted it's been you know it's years old but the airline absolutely ruined it i mean they it was always absolutely great. and then when i got it back the handle was hanging off it was cracked i thought christ you teach your own you know treat your own kids this way bloody hell well so i think i've had to buy four count and buy a new hand luggage case today i think the thing is for me is what people don't realize is is mm. when you travel in drag you travel in the you have your boy stuff the stuff you're gonna wear or yeah you know the the stuff you're going to wear out yeah. of drag and then you also have to drag yeah. sh- shut up you have to also bring <laughs> stuff for your drag well, that, so listen. it's the worst because i was going to say like honestly i will have one suitcase for miss georgia Paul and one suitcase for me do you know what i mean well, i mean we we get an, an allowance of four cases four checked cases mm. and then a hand hand luggage as well so and, it, and even still, I'm struggling to fit it all in because we've just got yeah. so much to pack. So Do you know what? Heavy. It's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying that you can't just Stuck send the your yeah. current, the costumes for the shows. Just try and ship it straight to the other ship. Because at the end of the day, you ain't going to be wearing none of that shit. It's so ugly. The only oh, reason God you wear me. it is because the show fits the show. Get paid to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be wearing that back in England. I'd get mobbed. You'd get mobbed, oh. darling. All the drag queens. And you wouldn't want to wear it anyway because everyone would be asking you to make shit for oh, them. that's it, yeah. I've already had people messaging me, oh, have you got any old stuff you're selling off? I thought yeah. you just want to sniff me tags. Yeah. <laughs> you want to sniff me crutch, love. And if you want that, I'd do it for free. I said, if that's the case, 20 quid a pair. Well, that too, yeah. So anyway, so that's me. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we'll obviously, soon. I've got me last, coming up to my last month at home. That's right. Um, yeah. And I am actually going on holiday again again um, this time you've just bloody got off holiday i'm not kidding well this time i'll be able to record remotely so we'll still be able, we won't be having another two-week break don't worry darling oh, because um i'm actually yeah. going on a holiday on a cruise ship instead of working yes so that will wow. be an interesting i feel like i'm going to be looking around for my name badge that'll be a nice experience yeah so i'm going on that and then i've got four days at the end so I'm going on the ship for nine days mm. and then I've got four days at the end and I'm just going to fit in a couple of 
couple of Disney days, little I visits, think. Little little park visits. You've got to do Epcot. I mean, oh. Really? I lo- Is that Epcot's your fave? probably my fave. Drink around, drink around the world in Epcot. I mean, by the time you get to Canada all the way around, you're absolutely arsehole. I but bet. it's great, yeah. Well, yeah. it's interesting. Actually, I've decided, because, Titty, you're not a big drinker, are you, really? I'm not a big anything. Well, size 12. Shut up. <laughs> Um, you're not really a big No, I, I mean, I'll have... Don't get me wrong, I'll have I'll have a drink. I'll, you know, I'll have a day. Like, if we're having a day, I'll, you know, we'll go out and get wild. But I'm very... I can... Yeah. I'm very self... What's the word? Control. I've got the self-control where I can say, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to have a drink tonight. Because I've decided... Yeah. I mean, whereas you, you've got it on bloody tap. Right? Here we you're go. Like... That's a lie. You nasty bitch. <laughs> but I have decided, yeah. at least for a while, I'm just going to be sober. So I haven't had a drink. Oh, fab. I mean... You feel better for it, to be honest. I know, like, yeah. I want to cut it out. If there's a night where people are having a drink, having a good time, sure, enjoy yourself. But you don't need to be doing it every day, you know. I agree. I think for me, it's going to be more like, you know, if there is a, a special occasion, I'll probably have a couple. Yeah. But I think the yeah. majority of the time, yeah, yeah. a majority of yeah. the time now, <laughs> I'm just, I have friends that only drink on Fridays and Saturdays. And I think that's fab. Oh, it's fab, isn't it? If you've got the, I mean, for you, though, the trouble is what you've got is if you're waking up and looking at yourself in the mirror every morning, that's enough to send anyone to the uh, cabinet. Grow up. No, because I've always got a face mask on, so I can't see myself anyway, love. Oh, fab. Oh, I fab. love that one. Well, yeah. Oh, well, enjoy. Thanks, love. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Yes. Have a lovely time on cruise. You'll have a fab time on cruise. I'm sure you will. You'll be like bloody Jay McDonald. Well. What I want, you should do the, um, the a music video at the end of the cruise. Oh, I will. And film it and put it on Instagram. I will. That's what I want. What might be quite nice as well is, um, obviously, though, that you won't be there doing the show, so I, I'll feel like I'll be able to watch a good drag show, you know. I mean, a um, time, and truly get some a bit, inspiration. Bit of glamour, yeah. Bit, bit of, of glamour. glamour would be lovely. Um, yeah, gorgeous. Anyway, I mean, speaking of, uh, actually, it leads me on to my next point. Speaking about getting wild until early hours in the morning, I was up. I mean, the other day, up until five twenty a.m. What in the morning? Can you believe that? S- is it sleep? School night, sleep paralysis school night. again? No, not the sleep paralysis. Oh. So myself and a few of the other cast members. Had the well, made the mistake of opening up a jigsaw oh. at about half eleven. Yeah, and it was one of them. It was a weird shape. You know the weird shapes that like don't always connect together. Like it's a weird, a weird shaped jigsaw. Yeah, a bit like your shoulders doesn't quite fit. Well, that's the weird shape. They don't yeah. fit, and it's you know hard to look at and to understand. Yeah, makes me sick. It got to the point where you know people were walking past and said, "Oh, you'll not finish that tonight." And I thought, "Listen, bitch, yes, I will. No, I bloody will." Yes, I will. <laughs> so cut to us at five five o'clock in the bleeding morning, putting the last jigsaw piece in. Oh my! I mean, gosh. it was a great for camaraderie, but my god, I destroyed. So yeah, no wild nights for me. No, no bit drinking of... shots out of people's belly buttons, just bloody <laughs> jigsaws until five in the morning. Well, you know, um, I really love the game Phase Ten, which is a bit like Uno. In the UK, no one seems I to mean, play you've it. Not said it. You've not said oh, it. You don't fucking shut up about it. Christ. And City, you not came kidding. to one of Phase Ten. This <laughs> Phase Ten that. Starting to fucking phase you out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I love it. And Titty, you came, I think twice maybe, did you? I don't know, when we were playing. I didn't tell it's... anyone about it. I cleaned up after myself. Oh, as if you would come anywhere near me, darling. Actually, I think about you a lot during sex, just to last longer. <laughs> you stupid, stupid girl. Do you know, sometimes they say... <laughs> Oh, like big, if uh, if you get like a, a boner in a inappropriate place, if you get hard, well, where else can you get a boner other than your crotch? Yeah, <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> if you're on a bus uh-huh. or if you're at a children's daycare picking someone up, you know yeah. you don't want people to see. Yeah. So um, they say think of like dead puppies and stuff. I just think of Titty Car Car bent of over me. and straight away. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's honestly me it's as drag. it's as flaccid as. It's as flaccid as your drag performance, darling. Oh, God. Quite floppy, then. Yeah. Well. Dead flopper. Dead flopper. Dead flopper. Dead flopper. Dead This ear pod keeps popping out my ear. I'm trying to shove it back in. I've got dainty, delicate little ear canals. Well, it's it just more... need filling. Oh. Ah, put it in me. Ah. Ah. Um, Too far. Talking of being... See, when I do that, it just moves. Maybe it's my jaw. Whenever my jaw moves, it slides even further out my ear. Well, it's I mean, bit... what mine? Fucking paid enough for them. These bloody AirPods Pro. Oh, I've not got the Pro. I've got the other ones. The Pro hurt my ears a bit, tits. Well, I think the ear, earbud's too big for my dainty don't, ear canal. Don't you mean 
I reckon it's because mm. your ear canal is so swollen <laughs> because obviously you're listening to yourself <laughs> sing a lot in the show. They're probably bleeding and Actually, swollen. Actually, funny story about that. You know, in in the show we have you know the in ears. Yeah. We work for you know people not in perform performing. Uh, headphones. We, we wear in ears, which are like a little headphone, but it's like it's in your ear, hence the name. Uh. Mm. Um, and basically, what they do is they feed back what we're saying into the mic, and they give us some of the you know the ba- the music that comes through. Yeah. So we can hear ourselves because we can't always hear ourselves easily. Maybe about two weeks ago, I was doing sound check before the show. The sound technician was like, "What have you have you got?" the blue one in or the red one in because I, I only have one ear yeah. one ear in when I do it so I can still hear the audience on the other side them booing the, yeah <laughs> hear them all booing and screaming only turns out for the past bleeding ear I've had the wrong ear in the wrong the wrong earphone in the wrong ear no I was like well no wonder it doesn't bleed in fit so then when I put the other one in the one that's supposed to be in the right ear like a glove oh, slid right how and annoying did. well I thought well at least that bloody shows what I know Christ I've been doing a show for the past well, it comes with an experience well that's it and i just don't have that you know it, it's not very glamorous to, <laughs> to have it in the wrong gear anyway so i'm not surprised it didn't pop out tips talking Ooh. of things popping in and out when i was traveling i obviously decided i was gonna stay in hostels because you might think money. i'm so glamorous yeah. that, <laughs> shut up <laughs> but it's seriously for for a night it's like seven pounds it's wild isn't it i love it it's fat. yeah but you've got a chance of like, getting a bit of a you know someone's breathing on you you've got someone spit dribbling from the bunk bed above you love it that's the experience really doesn't yeah. it yeah but there was one particular yeah. hostel i stayed in in um chiang mai you know, in the northern yeah. part of thailand and there was i was there for three nights and i'm not even yeah. joking the pe- the people above me were a straight couple shagging every night in the hostel every there was night 10 people in the, in the room oh and everyone's looking at well, them well they had oh, this God. particular hostel had curtains but all i could hear is like a little huh, huh, huh. Oh, no, the noise is straight people that's not what you want and then you'd hear <laughs> it wasn't very long oh. the thing is that the guy was so fit so I didn't really mind. Oh, that's all right. Just but li- that. literally, I couldn't believe it. The audacity. The old, I mean, ten people asleep. But to be fair, that doesn't really get you in the mood, does it? The thought that there's eight other people no. with prying eyes. Well, some people it does. Filthy bastards. But Titty, talking of sex, I've got a little game to play. A little quick oh, game for you. Oh, one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you three drag queens' names, and they're all yeah. celebrity drag queens. Well, so you'll know who they be, are. I'm not bloody know them. Yeah. yeah. And all you've got to do is shag one of them. Marry one and kill the other one. Okay. Shag, marry, kill. Okay, go on. So the first one is Read them Bianca out. Del Rio. Never heard of her. Adore. Never heard of her. You're a liar. And Courtney Act. Never heard of so her. So Bianca Del Rio, Adore, and Courtney Act. Ooh. Uh, shag, marry, kill. Um, probably kill Courtney Act. And I know that's going to be quite controversial. Yeah. But I agree. Out of the two. Shagador, marry Bianca. I think that's a good choice. Okay, next up. That's a good choice. We have got RuPaul, yeah. Dame Edna, yeah. and Lily Savage. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone. Go on. Um, Probably kill Lily. <gasps> no, that's horrible. Why would I say that? You don't want to say that. I don't want to kill anyone. Well, them. Edna's already dead. Is she? Dame Edna's dead, yeah. Dame Dodd's dad's dog's dead. Is she? Dame, Dame Edna's dad's dog's dead. One minute. No, I don't think. Barry Let Humphreys. Let me Google it. No. Nah. She's dead, didn't she? Well, in that case, kill Dana, Dame Edna because she's already dead. Ooh. Mm. You've got to marry RuPaul because then you're getting that, the, uh, half of the half of the business, aren't you? She's not dead. I didn't think so. She's no. just retired. 89, Barry Humphreys is well, now. Well, she will be. She will be after I've finished. So, yeah. Oh. Oh. Kill Dame Edna. Yeah. Marry RuPaul. Yeah. Uh, and I guess Shag Lily Savage. Right, okay, I've got one more for you. Are you ready? What, so what would you do? What's yours? Oh, what would you do? I would do exactly the same. Oh, yeah, cop out. Shut Go up. Next. I've got one more for you. These are all British drag queen okay. icons. This is Bag of Chips, Love, Love War, Love War. Love War. Betty Legs Diamond, Betty Legs Kill, Diamond. Marry, Shag. Kill them all. Ha! <laughs> 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 uh, I'd, oh, oh, good one. Uh, Kill Bagger. Mm. I love War or Betty. I feel like I'd get on better with Betty, so I'd probably marry Betty and then shag Lavoir. I would kill Lavoir. Oh, really? I mean, Lavoir's coming for the gig. She's she's cruising around as well. I would probably shag mm. Bagger. 
and marry yeah. Betty. Well, she's going on tour. Did you see? Are you keeping up with the videos? They're hysterical. Yeah, they're hysterical. And actually, I'm gutted because when the tour starts, I think we're away. It's the dates. We're away. I know. I know. It starts in April and we leave before then. So I'm living. Uh, because, do you know, as so many people have said to me, when I was up in Manchester, they were like chatting and they were like, oh, you know, Betty Leg Simon's going on tour. Because obviously, I saw Betty when mm. she came to Manchester at Brewers. She did a like a night with yeah. Betty Lex Diamond. It was great. She spoke oh, about, great. she had all pictures. She spoke about her history. And I mean, there's lots of it. I mean, it was literally, I mean, I, my favorite particular performance she did was prehistoric. Right. And her backing dancers were two velociraptors. But it was fab. Two dinosaurs, yeah. She cracked out of the egg in the middle in a cave woman bikini <laughs> and the rest is history. Anyway. Well, talking of bikini, yeah. um, I'm actually at the beach right now. I wonder um, what that and smell I can is. See... It smells like cooking flesh. No. <laughs> anyway, go on. I, Burnt bacon. I can see over there um, that there's a bo <laughs> oh, bottle floating in, I oh, think. The... Oh, quick, grab it. Gra I've that, grabbed it. That, oh, I've... Get that cork, <laughs> squeeze it out. Oh! Oh, oh God, that was oh. quite a wet one, that one. That is a wet one, darling. Well, talking of wet ones, let's see what this bloody message in a bottle is about. Now, if you don't know, if this is your first time tuning in to Up The Art, a message in a bottle, we're going to give some helpless person a little bit of advice, That's aren't we, That's right, tits? they write in, they're at the wit's end... And they're asking for the advice, so we're here to give it to them. So here they are, take it out of the bottle, unravel that paper. Get, oh, there we are, get that yeah. paper out. What does it say? There what does we the go. message say, Georgia? Well, this says, Dear the two most glamorous queens at sea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The only uh, glamorous queens at sea, really. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Um, I'm writing to you with a big Ooh, dilemma. My dilemma's my quite name big is as Peggy. well, but I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. Anyway, go on, Peggy. Go on, Peggy. My name's Peggy, and I'm from Smegville, <sighs> just outside Rigatoni oh, in the south of Italy. Go on, I'll entertain it. I've been with my <laughs> husband, Greg, for 17 years. 17 years. I know. When we met, he only had one small bakery in Smegville, uh -huh. and now he owns bakeries all over the country. Oh, it's a chain. Well, his name's Greg, so yeah. I think. Oh, I think maybe oh, I we might know. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Because of his success, we get to go on holiday a lot. And next week, we're going on our first ever cruise. <gasps> oh. After 17 years, I really feel like I need to spice up our relationship. Naturally. By possibly introducing swinging. Oh. Wow. Get them pineapples out, kids. As Greg's penis. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? On. It says, especially as Greg's penis has not been working so well in the oh, last couple of years. Oh and sometimes I think I'd be better off using one of the bakery sausage rolls. Right. Yeah. How do I introduce swinging to him? And also, do you have any advice of how to do it on the ship? I've heard something about a pineapple. Thanks, girls. Love the poddy. Oh, well, thanks, Peggy. Thanks for writing thanks. in. Yeah. Um, I mean, personally, I've never swung before. I mm. just know that obviously the, the pineapple is a uh, an advertising symbol well it's it's, swingers it's actually cruise. peggy it's an upside down pineapple it must be upside down oh is it the upside down see i didn't know that i just thought it was pineapples in general so actually oh. i i actually um i've just done a little bit of research just there i've just googled it yeah and because i wouldn't know myself naturally and if the pineapple's upright it means you're up for swinging but just not right now oh, just not right now yeah, so you, right. you know you're painting your nails yeah. you're shaving you're, busy. you're having a shower yeah if the pineapple is upside down, normally the, the door will be on the latch and Ooh. it means ready to go. The, the you know, it's bowl. all clean, ready to yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. And what, well, well, what about if the pineapple's on the side? What does that mean? If it's on the side, that means that they are um, <laughs> vegetarian. Oh, right. So, so they'll just, they'll, they'll not really it, partake yeah. in the action, but they'll just sit and watch. Yeah. Yeah, right. very much that. They'll have a they'll have a falafel wrap instead. Oh, lovely, lovely. But my only advice, really, yeah, the, I mean, there is a big swinging culture on cruise ships. If you don't know, listeners, there's lots of swings there. You can sit on swing in the breeze. Bit of this, you bit can, of that. Yeah, I mean, it's big. It's big culture on on cruise ship. I mean, anything goes in international waters. That's you know? true. That is true. What, whatever goes there stays there, except STDs. Sadly, they'll come back home with you. Yeah, um, especially chlamydia. Trust well, me. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's what you should. Well, how can we introduce it to Peggy? Just tell him it's what cruisers are for. You don't get another choice. I think you should go on the ship, and before you go on the ship, yeah, you pop down to the shop. You buy, a, a, mm. you know, a magnet, a magnet yeah. pineapple, and he says, "Why have you? Why yeah. are you packing that?" And you say, 
well, I might just pop it on the door, bit of decoration. De- decor, yeah. You open the door. Leave it on the latch. You know, you put it upside down. Yeah. You put it on the latch. You're about to have a bit of fun. People knock and you say, oh, it must be the cabin host. Mm, mm. You go to the door. You open the door. People come straight in. You go, I had no idea it was happening. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Then after he has a fab time, yeah. you just say, oh, well, maybe we'll do this maybe again. Maybe we'll keep the pineapple Surprise. There. Element of surprise. Well, it. It's the element of surprise. Yeah. You've got to keep them on the toes. Yeah. yeah. Keep them on their toes and their floppy sausage roll, Peggy. Well, that's it, Peggy. Get that steak bake open. Yeah. So I think in terms of... A bit introducing, just surprises. That's it. Invite, invite the lot. I do love Greg's, so if it, if you do own Greg's, thanks well, listen, for the bloody sausage rolls. Spread, yeah, if there's a spread of sausage rolls, there's a bean, you know, a bean bake, there might be a, a few yum yums on the end for a bit of a sweet treat. Mm. I'd be there for the food. Oh, I'd be there for the buffet, darling. I wouldn't even touch them. Mm, frig you friggin'. I'll be there for the yum yum. Yeah. Do you know, I watch this, on TikTok, there's people that talk about what they eat, so this is what I ate today what did you eat today but there's this guy called oh. Corey. i think it's called Corey Corey's world or something mm. he's so fuck he's so funny and he he loves a corn corn beef pasty from greg's <sighs> personally i couldn't think couldn't think of anything corn worse because i'm from down pasty. south Ooh. Yeah. But they never have them in stock. And mm. it's like his je- he goes around the bloody UK working, trying to find a corned beef. Looking for a corned beef pasta. Yeah. And I thought all you need to do is open Nightmare. Titty Car Car's knickers and you find yourself a corned beef pasty there, darling. There's at least three. Yeah. I mean, go on. What have, oh, what have you eaten today? What have you eaten so far? Today, I woke up and I had some toast. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Lovely. Um, and then I for lunch, I had a pita bread Ooh. with some cheese tomato nice. a bit of mayo lovely um and then i've not had dinner yet but we're having a core lovely core and that's love it that. oh i had a nice i love a dime bar you know dime oh, oh that's the only reason why i go to ikea yeah get a bag of dime bag of dime Ooh. darling yeah. um so i had a dime bar um lovely. and i had nice coffee i think that was it cup of maybe a couple okay. of glasses, a bit, a bit, a couple of glasses of squash. Oh, a cheeky little squash glass. It's weird, isn't it? In in America, they don't have squash. I mean, I don't call it squash. You know, I'm cordial, isn't it? It's not bloody squash. No, but we, it is called squash in the UK. Well, I don't call it squash. What? Orange squash. Anyway, this is riveting conversation. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this will no, get cut. Just, or- <laughs> Let's get back to Peggy. So all I'm going to say, Peggy. Back to Peggy. Back to Peggy. Is you know element of surprise, surprise him. You never know. He, he was probably he's probably gonna love that. Surprise, surprise, surprise. He's absolutely gonna love sausage it. Sausage surprise, darling. Sausage surprise. If you do have any problems, of course you can just find any bottle. Yeah. Um, you can stick a note in there mm. and uh, just send it out to sea. And uh, you know, with Titty's long, long, gigantic arms, long arms, she can always pick them up. And my my hands are big enough to carry a piano, so I'll be able to scoop it out the ocean. No no problem disgusting yeah. <laughs> oh god and uh d- alternatively of course you could just do what everyone else does and message us on instagram which send is at message. up the R. that's right send us a little yeah. message on instagram and we will get we might even read it on the next pod here you never know you never that's know that's right of course you can always leave us a review leave us a review on apple podcasts or itunes or you know we'd love to hear what you think and if you did want to follow us independently on instagram i don't know why you would but you can always find Miss Georgie Porgy at Miss Georgie Porgy UK. That's right, because she's never done a gig outside of the country. And you can find Titty Kaka at Titty underscore Kaka because she's very underwhelming. So she has to use an underscore. There you go. But yeah, thank very you. Underwhelming. Thank you for listening to our first show back after a little two week hiatus. And That's uh, right. we it's hope gonna, you... it's going to settle down soon. I think because we'll be back in company relatively soon. Yeah, I'm quite yeah. excited to record in person again. Me too. I mean, I'm. I'm excited because I'm going to be back, you know, and two, we might see you in two weeks. Well, no, I won't because you're going to be away, aren't you? Well, I'm going to be away, but I might see you before I go back to the ship. We'll just have to have a thing. Yeah, we'll we'll knock our heads together and see because I'll come and visit for sure. For sure. Right, right tits. Right, love. So I'll see you very I'll soon, see you darling. soon. All right, darling. Thanks for listening. You look very glamorous today. All right, darling. See you soon. See Bye. You later, Bye. All the glamour. We ain't all right. Hoist the sail. I'm going to go have a little rest. You treat yourself.